everybody, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super super excited because I have a small haul to do. I got my book outlet order in the mail today as well as another book that I ordered a couple days ago from Baker House Publishing or Baker House Bookstores. I'm not sure what the company is called. I'll figure out when I read the packaging. But anyways, I got the book, so I thought, why not just do a entire haul? It is a small one, but it's a haul nonetheless. And so without further ado, let's jump right in and see what's in the packages. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Baker House Bookstore um, box first, just to make you guys wait with bated breath to see what is in the book outlet box. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw I got a package from them a couple weeks ago and I said something about their packaging and it's true. Their packaging is really good actually. It's kind of a pain to open at first, but if you think about it, I would have preferred to have like to take a minute to open my books than them be in really bad condition. Is that just me? Okay. Well, they package their books wonderfully. So let's go ahead and open it. So I went ahead and cut the sides and the thing down front. So I'm just going to open this. Then after that, it's wrapped. So I got the Lynn Austin's brand new book, which is Where We Belong. It came out this year. The cover is beautiful. There's camels, and their dresses are gorgeous. So, I heard nonstop amazing things about this book. Um, everybody has absolutely loved it. I haven't really, I don't think I've read anything by Lynn Austin before, so I was really excited to find this on the Baker Bookstore website. For $5, this was a part of their Black Friday deal. And they were also doing free shipping, which I believe is still going on until the end of December, I want to say. They have a ton of $5 deals, and it's wonderful. So if you're looking to get somebody Christmas presents or even just splurge on yourself, they do have a ton of books to choose from. They have uh, fiction books. They have nonfiction books. They have all kinds of books and they have deals running all the time just deals all over the board you can get some really good books for very low prices affordable prices and I'm really really excited to check this book out I'll leave their link down in the description so I'm excited to read it next and last but not least is the book outlet order this I also got on Black Friday. I went ahead, they were having 30% off uh, their website, I believe, or 40%. I can't remember. But I went ahead, I had some books in my shopping cart, so I went ahead and bought them. I did not reach the $35 minimum to get free shipping. So I did have to pay the $5 shipping, which honestly isn't really that bad if you're looking to get books at an affordable price and you're not wanting to spend $35. I didn't have $35 to spend. I could have if I'd wanted to, but I didn't have it at the time, but I had the couple of dollars for shipping. So yeah, so without further ado, we're going to open the box. Open the box. I went ahead and cut it open so that you guys didn't have to see me struggle on camera. All right, they also package their books pretty well. Um, this is a smaller box than I got last time. Last time I got a bigger box, and I still didn't reach the thirty-five dollar limit. I think I had like twenty in my cart, so I paid twenty-five. Um, but it was a pretty big box, so it's packaged. They have paper on top. And then they have my rest set. The first book I got was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is a Puffin classic. And I have actually not finished this story. I've started it 
over the years. Um, I started it like four or five times, but I never actually finished it. And I really want to. So with the sale they were running for Black Friday, I got this book for $3.35. And it's so cute. I saw In Bed With Books, she got this set. And I want I want to start collecting the classics. So I thought, why not start with this one? It's really, really excited to read this book. It's in beautiful condition. It's so pretty. I love it. All right, I'm going to go to the next book. The next book that I got is also a Puffin Classics. It is going along with the Little Women theme. I went ahead and got Little Men, also by Louisa May Alcott. I didn't know that there was more books to Little Women. That is how out of the loop I am. But I decided to pick it up. With the sale they were running, I got it for $1.39. So it's so cute. I, again, I love the cover. There is a, mark, a little bit of marker on the top. But that's okay. I'm really excited to read this as well. Then the last book to this part of the like Little Women classic series thing, I don't know, is Joe's Boys. I'm not sure how they run. I don't know if this is number two and that's Little Men is number three or what. But I went ahead and picked up Joe's Boys as well. And with the sale that they're running, I got it for $1.53. And it's, this one's cute too. It's just all so cute. It's adorable. So I finally have a couple books to add to my, to start my Puffins, my Puffin Classics set, my classics in general, and I'm really, really excited. So the last book that I got, and I got this book for $3, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And that is Bell's Library. It is a collection of literary quotes and inspirational musings. And it's from Beauty and the Beast. The cover is gorgeous. And it's so... It's so pretty. Like, I'm really glad that I bought it. It's so beautiful. It is just a little scuffed up right here, but that's okay. It's hardcover. It's so beautiful. It is just little small. I kind of want to start collecting little pieces from uh, Disney movies or even just little bits and pieces of the princesses, whether it be in books or something. Beauty and the Be Just, I have always loved Disney princesses. I love Disney. This stuff is great. It's so beautiful. Like, ugh. I'm so excited about this. It's so cute. And it's just got all kinds of stuff. And it's like rustic looking inside. It's really, really cute. So I'm excited about that. I told you it was a really short haul. I got five books. I'm really, really excited. I'm, I love books. I love adding stuff to my collection. So I'm excited to read them all. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Check out my blog for the love of Christian Fiction .com. My Instagram for the love of Christian Fiction, where you'll probably see quite a few of these books on there because they're just so cute. Let me know in the comments below. I want to know what your favorite classic is because I would love to add more classics to my collection. And yes, I need some ideas. I need help, people. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.